Hey everyone, welcome back to Fallout 4. Yeah, I'm still in Sanctuary, or again. I cleaned up my inventory a little bit. Um, now I just wanted to check what is next. I could do this. I don't actually know where it is. Let me check. It's way over here. Andrew Station, Gwinnett Restaurant. Have I been here? Oh yeah, that's right next to the castle. I oh, see, so you know what? How about we do that? No, we don't do that. I need to I need to uh, think about the quest a little more. There was more going on. Talk to Jack Cabot. We can do that. And this is in the hardware store, which is not too far from Diamond City. So I might actually be go doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go to Diamond City. I can tell you, I've been playing a lot of Fallout over the weekend. I have started my own campaign off camera. And this is hard mode, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yeah, we're playing hard. I have, I'm playing one on very hard right now. Um, I'm, I'm on level, level eight. I die a lot. <laughs> and I'm running out of ammunition constantly. Um, there is a, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm up for that challenge just yet, but that's fine. Uh, to be to be honest and and fair, how much money have I got? I have quite some cash. Let's have a look at Diamond City surplus. See if we can stock up a little bit on ammunition. So far, I know they have these. They have this robot, right? Hey, Percy. Yeah, you're welcome. Shut up. From everyone. Always. <laughs> he does not seem to be so yeah. sure about the moral implications of that. <laughs> All right, cool. So I, I'm going to take these. Uh, I'm going to take these. I'm not too bad on ammunition, you know, like. That's 300 shots of 308 ammo. That's pretty good. 2,000 of this. Um, I want to stock up on... Uh, where is it? I'm good on fusion cells. Not too bad on fusion cells. But shotgun. My shotgun ammunition is, is really bad. So let's... Oh yeah. Oh, I can take those. So, let's take these. I don't need that just yet, right? Oh, mm, sexy. Um, let's take these as well. You know, it's not even a thousand yet. How am I on five, five, six? Not too bad. No, I think that's fine. I just thought, you know, let's get some more ammunition before we head out. The entire city is full of super mutants and freaking... I don't know why I cannot pillage stuff in Diamond City. Uh, the, the whole city is full of super mutants and, and uh, ghouls. So, plus a couple of raiders. So, you know, I don't need to run blindly into this. Thank you for loading faster. The Science Center has been instrumental in helping. I have no idea what helping. Well. Jack Cabot. I guess he's over here somewhere. Does not look like he is too far away. See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. Hang on. So, apparently this person is not here? I'm confused. No, that's not here. Oh, wait a second. Is that just the marker I set? Might be through another quest. 
yeah, that might be for another quest. So I need to go and find a way to that hardware store. I'm not sure what you're doing, Piper, but I'm sure you're doing it wrong. What ammunition are you using? Did I buy the wrong one? Of course I bought the wrong one. No, that's, that's shells. That was the one. And this one. For this guy, I need... For the trimmer, I need 45 ammo. I seem to have plenty of that. And the perk that I find more ammunition is really helpful here as well. Oh. Raider scum. Hello, Mr. Raider. Hey. Oh, you are... You are a okay. sneaky guy. Um... I just cleaned out my inventory, so take let's take everything. And Hardware Town. Oh yeah. I have the feeling Nothing in there. That's the alternative entry. He must have got spooked or something, because he suddenly starts throwing grenades everywhere. What? What would what, you guys do? That's the thing. It turns out they weren't grenades at all. They were just rocks. He was making the sounds with his mouth. Pins being pulled the whole nine yards. <laughs> what are these guys? No, we just stood there. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. After he threw about a half a dozen rocks near the back of the store, he started making machine gun noises and back into the door. Once you got outside, it sounded like you pretended to get on a motorcycle in here, which of course didn't start right away. Then he took off toward the freeway at what sounded like full throttle, hmm. shifting gears and everything. That's insane. Does... Oh, there you are. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> grenades, I don't have any. Why do I not have any grenades? I have a mine, I have a pulse grenade. Well. Friendly. Are you still alive? One guy down. And the other one is somewhere ish. Hello. Yeah, I know he's dead. I know he's dead. I apologize for being overly aggressive. <laughs> that would have been an interesting throw right a grenade over here yeah that's what what I call a missed opportunity well, if anyone could figure out a for it. yeah that's me ooh look at this I think we've been here before this looks overly familiar it does doesn't it No, it's not. I'm not going into the tunnels, by the way. Not, not just yet. But uh, I'll do it eventually. For now, Hardware Town. Let's go back. I will not get distracted. Nope, I promise I will not. Oh, look, loot. <laughs> Sorry. Let's take the back door and kill some baddies. Hello? Oh, I remember this. What's taking I so long? 
I think no, I, I just saw someone out there. This one looked like a good mark, so let's shut up and run. Ah! Oh, that was not good. What the fuck was that? Yeah, that was me screaming. He's up there. Hey, who's there? We're so dead. Just getting warmed up over here. You're a terrible shot, buddy. Really, really terrible. Oh, that's a little bit confusing. That sounds like Piper has found him. Yeah, that's what we call a flank shot in XCOM. That's how it works. See? Perfect. Got some blue paint. Um, blue and uh, yellow. Make green paint. That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, so... Can I do more? Yeah, green paint edit. Cool. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Piper. Let's uh, let's see what they got. Oh, some money, some ammunition. Nothing crazy. Oh, that's the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been here. It's like a platformer. Oh. More ammunition and a combat rifle. Let's have a look at the map. Did we already clear it out? If it was only like, yeah, look, it's cleared. Only like three guys. I don't know what you guys did wrong. Probably just at the wrong place and at the wrong time, huh? Hello. Duct tape. I'll take duct tape every day. What an interesting location. An old hardware store. There's the stairs. Some dirty water, but no. Hello. Got it. it. Oh, that was cool. Piper admires me, huh? Really? Hey, Piper. You sure managed to Let's find talk. a fair share of trouble, don't you? Mm -hmm. It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You Someone poisoned? poisoned you? You kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I'd just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in article the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so... I figured I'd pop over to the dugout in for a victory. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more and so I than usual. I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for and something. There it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but... It worked. Bleh. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Nice. 
You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. We are Get just getting started. It's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. So I know that uh, that Van Shima Rachel would like me to try the uh, arrow up here, but I will not be doing it just yet. I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. That means a lot coming from you. So you want to get out of here? And why would I listen to Rachel? Because she sponsored the name for the character and is one of my longtime subscribers. I need to clean this place out. Like, very, very soon. Look at all this stuff. Industrial solvent. I don't even know what to use this for. But it's pretty awesome. Right. Some drugs, ammunition. That's what I'm talking about. Blood packs I can use to make my own stim packs. Which is very important. But I will have to come back off camera and, you know, take all the loot. Also, look at this. All these washing machines, they, they have some more. A lot of these washing machines have some additional loot. This guy has 45 ammo. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Actually, it was only the three guys, right? They probably imagined that scenario a little bit differently. And I, I entered this place by accident in, in one of my early campaigns and I didn't really make it as far as I remember. I got my ass kicked pretty much. But with that weaponry that I currently have. Oh, look at all this stuff. Lots of vodka. Lots of ammunition. Cigarettes. Mm, taking that later. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I see that. I actually didn't know it was there. How can I get over there? I think it's just safer to do it this way. Let's see what they have. Ah. Yes. Got it. Got it. So, you're coming with me. Yeah, not too bad on on my carrying capacity, so it's kind of good. Let's move out. I won't get distracted. I have already been distracted, so. What's new? <laughs> Some tin cans. That's the, you know, the rubbish loot, and I'm going to take that later. I just want to take the stuff that I really don't want to miss out on. Like the glue, you know, for adhesives, some gears and stuff. It's always important to have more of that. As much as possible. It's empty. Probably this guy drank it. Let's go outside again. That was not too bad. Actually, that went, that went pretty darn well. Not for you though, huh? I'm sorry. I'm just taking your stuff to sell it. You won't need it anymore, right? Um, people, I just had a look at the clock. Time is up. I hope you did enjoy this little ambush. It was only three people. I'm not sure 
whether that sort of, uh, you know, ass-kicking that I just handed to these guys comes from the fact that it was only three people and I kind of expected that, or because I trained with a very hard, um, with a very hard campaign in the background. I don't, we will see in the future how it goes, right? Okay. I hope you did have fun. If you did, thumbs up button. And um, I see you in two days for the next episode, I hope. Until then, I'm Stodier. Bye.